See, you have a database or a list of records with a column for email addresses. These are all fake emails, of course. Uh, and, and let's say if they are uh, past due for something, you want to send them a reminder, an email reminder. I'm doing it for all of them, but you can put a filter in there, of course. So we are going to do that with VBA. We, uh, we can do that with Outlook or in another way. I'm going to do it first to activate Outlook and send through Outlook a message to that email address 1234 in this case. So I'm going to VBA Alt F11 and I put a new module in there with a subroutine that I happen to call Email Reminder. Make sure if you want to talk to Outlook, you have to activate the Outlook library. Tools, references, and make sure that the Microsoft Outlook 15, 15 or 14 or 13, whatever your version is, is activated. Then we declare a series of variables. And these two lines are based on the Outlook library. The application of Outlook, a mail item, the namespace, the mappy folder, and explorer. And the rest is a regular value types, variables, and I also used an object type for worksheets. So then I asked for an input box, do you want to send it directly, or do you want to display it? If they say yes, then we set B send, which is of the Boolean type. We send that to true. Then we use the OWS variable of the worksheet type to point to sheet 1 in this workbook, or whatever the name of that sheet is. We set OL of the Outlook application type to a new Outlook application. We set this one to the Outlook's application Active Explorer. And then there is a little problem. Maybe your Outlook is not open. If your Outlook is not open, the type name of O Explorer is nothing. Then I have to set the namespace to Outlook, get the namespace space Mappy. Set O Mappy, which is of the Outlook Mappy folder type to the namespace get the default folder, the folder input box. We set this one to the Explorer and close and if. That is only necessary if your Outlook is not open yet. Then we are going to say take as a reference point from the worksheet we are on range A1. So we start in A1, and we are going to say go to the second row, third row, fourth row, and fifth row, and find in column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the email address. So first of all, we have to find how many rows we have in that database or record set. We store that in R, dot, that means take it from that range A1, take the entire current region up to the next empty column and empty row, find the number of rows and count them. Then loop for i equals 2 to r. Then loop for i equals 2 to r. That means I skip the label row or header row and I run to the very end. Take the date from dot cells i two, three, four, five in the third column. You could make a filter. If D date happens to be 30 days ago or whatever, then do the rest, otherwise don't do it. Set the recipient to column five. The subject, I put an urgent reminder, whatever you want. In the body, I put your due date is, and then I took D date, which is the value found in cells I3. If B sent is false, you want to display the email first. Then I set O mail to create an item. 
with that all mail set the subject dot subject to s subject set the body to s body add to the collection of recipients this recipient don't forget to display it i would say do not send it why am i not using send because then you get each time a security question some program in this case your vba is trying to do something to your outlook so that is a real important protection it's very hard to bypass that so I, I'm just going to display it and then you have to say each time do I want to send it yes or no this is not the ideal solution so we will very soon say how do you send it automatically I cannot do that through Outlook for Outlook is very well protected for interference from VBA code and this VBA code is not in Outlook so I cannot say to Outlook don't worry about VBA code for this is in Excel so I have a problem there and that's where the else clause is going to kick in so if i want to send it immediately automatically then i have to do something else let's test this first i made a shortcut to that one that's Control shift e and i'm going to say just display it so i click on no and then i get this allow access for let's say for five minutes allow it and it's going to create in my case four emails so you can send them individually you see it has an urgent reminder in the subject your due date is etc I'm, I'm just going to close each one and not send it but this is a little work especially when you have a huge database so it's not the ideal solution because outlook is very well protected and rightly so so I'm going back to this one and I'm going to do an else clause. The else clause, I'm going to use a subroutine that needs three arguments. And here is that, by the way, this is the end of the subcode. Here is the sending one. Sub, sending, three arguments. What is your body text? What is your subject? And what is the address of the receiver? I declare an local variable there of the string type that SURL is going to be mail to colon use as address from what you passed through sending the subject equals as subject and the body equals as body all inherited from the arguments there and now this is the secret I'm going to use the shell function I use shell execute well, what the heck is that it is not from Excel it is not from Outlook it is something that can handle all programs in your Windows so I need a function way on top of your module here is that function you have to do that before any sub we need to use the library of shell 32 DLL the problem is that the declaration of these functions is different since VBA 7 so if VBA 7 is on your machine then this is the correct one otherwise that is the correct one apparently on my machine this is not the correct one that is why the line is red just ignore that for now but you may need this one I did both so you can handle it on older versions as well the, the, the biggest difference is that the newer version uses this keyword you have to type it exactly the way this is so way at the end I split the line space underscore enter space underscore enter otherwise I get a very long one liner and I did the same here so I can use that function shell execute from now on so we are going back to sub sending and there is shell execute you have to do a little more here these are the arguments by value by value the operation etc and there is your string s-u-r-l 
and the rest is all null string and normal focus. And then because each time that execute has to run, we say to Excel wait three seconds, please. Maybe four seconds. If you have a lot of information in there and attach files, you need a little more wait time. And then do the send keys, Alt S. It's like send. So that one does not interfere with Outlook. So I don't get security messages or alerts. So let's test it. I'm going to do Control Shift E again, but this time I'm going to send it directly. Yes. And it does that three seconds. But you, you can do something else in the meantime. It will keep doing this. And in my case, because all my addresses are fake, I got here fake addresses. These are all fake addresses, so it says I couldn't find that email address. This code works perfectly. It covers all kinds of situations that you don't have Outlook open yet, that you don't want to display them individually and send them manually. So we use finally the function shell execute, which is in the library of the shell functions. And we do a sending subroutine. That is this one, and we use shell execute with a few variables. This one runs pretty smoothly. Uh, if you find out that three seconds is too long, make it two seconds, but don't make it too short. So otherwise it will interrupt the process. Probably need to know much more about Excel and the VBA, so I created for you three CD-ROMs, one for how to handle Excel in general, Excel VBA 2013, but that covers also previous versions. And if you are a scientist, you want to know a little more about Excel for scientists. You find all of this at genesispc.com. All these CDs have more than 1500 slides and they guide you for all the things you could ever dream of. And you will be an expert on each one of them.